About 5,000 PG&E customers, to be exact, still cut off to start off this Tuesday after the damaging windstorm. We saw a lot of them are in the Forest Ranch area of Butte County. And Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis shows us how people there are coping. Thousands of people in Forest Ranch woke up without power again today, many taking a trip down the hill to get any essentials they might need. A rainy and cold last couple of days in Forest Ranch. Today, the sun's shining again, but many are still chugging along without power. I think we were prepared. We had enough food and we could always, you know, we could always come down, go down to Chico and go to the store if we needed it. PG&E crews are working to restore power throughout the community today. This is just one of several downed power lines following Sunday night's storm. <laughs> Stephanie Allen says her household lost power late that night. Since then, she and her husband have been using their generator. Which worked fine for a while, and then um, all of a sudden it, um, it went off. Turns out that generator needs a new part, but luckily they have a backup. We had a, a littler generator that we hooked up, and that's running everything except the well. I also stopped by Zavatero's Grocery. An employee there tells me the business is out of power, but they're doing door service right now, so people in the community can still stop by for any groceries they might need. In Forest Ranch, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. At last check, power is still out for about 2,700 customers in the unincorporated areas of Butte County.